guys? What's going on everybody? It's Anthony here, Commander Stick RC. I'm back in my RC station here for another bench video. Um, I got my Traxxas X-Max on the bench here. Um, just doing a little bit of work and um, uh, just doing a couple of upgrades on it today. But speaking of upgrades, I am super pumped, super excited to share with you guys some of the upgrades that M2C has been cooking and soon to be released for this truck here, um, the X-Max. And um, I actually been driving this truck quite a bit, testing out some of the prototype. And, um, you know, obviously I could not share some of the footage. That's because we're not quite ready to share it to the world. But here we are today. Today is the day. And I'm, again, I'm just really excited that M2C is finally making some upgrades for this truck. And hopefully that will trickle down to, you know, other models like the Traxxas Max and you know, Slash and all those other models that Traxxas have in the market today and also props to m2c because they've been really pumping some really awesome upgrades out there especially for the armor trucks and um, finally making some upgrades for the um for the x max and i think it's about time i mean this truck's been around for quite some time and uh and again i'm just happy that you know they are actually now making some upgrades for this truck so but let me give you guys a closer look of those upgrades so here it is guys these are the upgrade parts that m2c has been working on for the Traxxas X-Max, we have a motor mount right here. This is not just another motor mount. This is actually a slide out motor mount. So here it is guys, this is the slide out motor mount system. Um, pretty simple design as you can see, but we all know the awesome benefit of having a slide out motor mount system. This is going to make swapping motors super easy and also um, setting up your mesh. Um, super easy, so, so I really love uh, this slide out motor mount system right here. And here we have two different slides, as you can see. This is obviously going to go slide into your motor mount right here. And this one right here is for your stock motor. So I love the fact that M2C is covering all the bases here. And for those of you guys that are running stock system, stock motor, you're still going to be able to upgrade to this slide out motor mount system. You're just going to make sure that you get the right slide uh, for your for your motor. And here is the slide for your aftermarket, your upgrade big can motors, like your Hobby Wing, your Castle, your Hobby Star. Uh, so this is going to be the slide for that. And of course, it comes with all the hardwares uh, to mount this baby into your um, to your motor. Here you might notice that this slide comes with four screw hole patterns. There's actually a reason for that, and that's because if you are running a Hobby Wing motor, just like I am here. This is the motor that I've been using for my test. This is a Hobby Wing uh, 1100 KB 5687 can. And as you can see, this is the uh, prototype slide that I have been testing out there. Mitch was actually able to design this to be able to use four screws to mount this into your motor. And obviously that's only going to add more stability, uh, more security, uh, making sure that this motor stayed locked in. And I'm happy to say this motor stayed locked in during my test. Um, I never had issue with my mesh. I actually had some really crazy uh, tumbles out there. Um, I even had a really bad ramp shiver. And this thing stayed locked in and my mesh uh, stayed perfect. So I really, really like the fact that you know, Mitch was able to design this and to be able to use four screws to lock this baby in here um, a lot of slides out there only uses two screws and that's fine but four is better than two you know so i just you know appreciate the fact that mesh really put a lot of thought into this you know this design so yeah i'm really really happy about that and here we have an esc plate slash brace stiffener let's open this thing up real quick so here it is guys so you can see this thing looks awesome and of course, it comes with all the hardwares that you need to be able to mount your ESC onto the plate right here, and as well as some screws to be able to mount this into the truck. And again, here you might notice a lot of holes pattern, uh, and that is because Mitch actually designed this uh, for you to be able to mount different type of ESC. So you will be able to mount your Max 5, your Max 6, your Firma ESC, uh, your Castles ESC. So I really love the fact that Mitch really covered all the popular ESC out there um, for you to be able to mount it on here so like I said earlier this is also acts as a brace stiffener 
that kind of helps minimize the over flexing of the truck especially on hard landing so and this thing is solid guys this thing is super rigid so this is only going to add a little bit of stiffness to the truck so hopefully that will help the center drive shaft from bending so i really like that about this um, esc plate slash Brace step Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison between these two motor mount. Uh, obviously, we have a WFO motor mount here on the left, and then we have the um, M2C Racing slide-out motor mount here on the right. A big difference in designs, as you can see, and they also provide different functionality as well. Um, I will say that the WFO motor mount is a really nice, solid motor mount. Um, I had this on my truck for quite some time. Um, so like I said, a really nice, solid motor mount, uh, to be honest with you. But it does have some limitations and some drawback comparing it to the um, M2C Racing setup motor mount here. And in my experience, um, it did give me quite a bit of a challenge to set my mesh here, especially when you have a big S can, 800 kV motor attached to this motor mount here. Yeah, it was a bit of a challenge and quite of a, a process uh, just to get the mesh right with this motor mount right here. And um, the other drawback, the other drawback and limitations with this type of motor mount is swapping motors. Um, so you don't really have a whole lot of choice. You have to unmount and um, take this out of the truck and uh, swap motors that way. So it's a little bit of an inconvenience and, you know, it takes a little bit of extra work to, to, to do it that way. But it is what it is. You know, it's what you get with this you know, type of motor mount. But here with this M2C slide out motor mount, everything is just made easy, um, to be honest with you. All the challenges and the limitations that I have experienced here on the WFO motor mount, it's pretty much non-existent here with this uh, slide out motor mount. This is just 10 times better in my opinion. And swapping motors is so much easier and so much faster with this motor mount right here. All you really have to do is just unscrew it from the sides and then take out the slides and swap motors that way. And then when you're done, just drop it in here, sit your mesh and you're good to go. So again, the convenience of having a slide out motor mount is just awesome. Uh, you know, that's that's the reason why I really favor the slide out motor mounts um, even on my 6S trucks And that's the reason why I have slide out motor mounts on all my trucks It's just the convenience of it and I really appreciate this type of motor mount design It just makes your life a little bit easier um, Here is a quick side-by-side -side comparison between these two ESC plate guys This plate right here has been on my truck for quite some time and as you can see, it's severely deformed already. To be honest with you, the quality of this plate right here is just pretty much non-existent. I mean, I found myself bending this back to shape pretty much every after bash. I mean, just the quality is just not there. And here we have the M2C ESC plate slash brace uh, stiffener. I mean, it's very well designed as you can see. I mean, the quality is top notch. It's just what you would expect from M2C Racing, guys. I mean, I mean, their quality of their product it just really speaks for itself. I mean, this thing is pretty sturdy, pretty solid, and there is a reason for that because it just also acts as the um, uh, a brake stiffener that will add a little bit of stiffness to your truck to kind of lessen the the over flex of the truck, especially on hard landing, and hopefully that will keep your center drive shaft from bending. So, and I love the fact that Mitch designed this to be able to mount just about any uh, popular ESC out there. So, uh, so whatever ESC you have or or choose, you will be able to directly bolt it right into this um, ESC plate right here. So, um, just look at the size difference and thickness, guys. I mean, come on, it is a night and day difference. Um, it's almost ridiculous and comical. Um, comparing these two at this point. <laughs> so again, I'm really excited and props to M2C Racing for now making um, you know upgrade parts for yep. the X-Max. Alright guys, so I have the motor mount on the track right now, but I left it a little bit loose. As you can see, I'm able to move it up and down. Um, that's because I wanted to point out something important and something significant here. Um, just, you know, just in case if you're wondering why there is so much play here. This motor mount is specifically and purposely designed to be a little bit narrower instead of having a perfect fit without any play in here. And the reason for that is to give you even more uh, freedom adjustment. So really get the gearing set up that you really want and to get the perfect mesh that you want. Normally you adjust your mesh by going up and down the slide here. Um, you're not only able to do that, uh, this motor mount mesh designed this for you to be able to have more freedom to adjust either um, closer to the spur or away from the spur. Again, uh, the purpose is to give you more freedom adjustment um, to really get the perfect gear setup that you want and also the proper mesh that you want. So that's the reason why uh, it is a little bit narrow. Now you might be questioning or wondering, will this thing start moving during my bash or during my run? But I'm happy to tell you that during my hard test with this motor mount, this thing stayed locked in 
uh, my mesh stayed perfect I had no shifting issues whatsoever so as long as you properly mounted this in and lock this in uh, uh, apply Loctite on those screws you are good to go this never going to shift or move on you so I just wanted to point that out and I just want to point out that if you ever decide to mount this motor mount to the side or closer to the spur or away from the spur there is a little bit of drawback with that and that is if you ever decide to take out the motor or slide out the motor or for any reason you are going to have to loosen this motor mount at the bottom um, and move it to the middle in order for you to easily and smoothly slide out your your motor so you're gonna have a hard time taking out your motor um, uh, being the motor mount on the side here because it's gonna hit the rail that's the only drawback so for me I would recommend just mounting this motor mount right in the middle right in the center uh, so that if you ever decide to take out the motor uh, you don't have to loosen up the screws at the bottom uh, all you got to do is just you know unscrew the slide here on the side and just you'll be able to take out or slide out your motor um, easily and smoothly so I just want to point that out I have so. everything mounted into the truck the slide out motor mount and the uh, ESC plate slash uh, brace stiffener uh, this thing is looking pretty good in here man this thing is nice and solid um, super impressed with the design and the quality of this product here so big shout out to every and Mitch Looper for this awesome design awesome um, upgrade for this X Max um, as you can see right there Give you a better shot, better angle. So it's looking pretty good. So yeah, I am super excited to get back out there and, and do another test of this motor mount and, and this time as well with this um, ESC plate slash uh, brace stiffener. So I just want to point out guys that I did try out different gearing setup with this motor mount system here during my test. Um, I tried out the 54 tooth spur as well as the 50 tooth spur. Uh, with different pinion and stuff i will be trying out the 46 tooth that i have in here now um hopefully um in a in a day or two guys check out the description below because i'm going to be putting some gearing information there in terms of uh smallest pinion that you can mount with this slide out motor mount um as well as the gearing setup that i recommend with this 1100 kb motor right here again guys everything is looking good as you can see so again big shout out to mitch and every looper for such an awesome design such an awesome upgrade for this x max so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.